सूर्याय नम ओं सौ सुमाय नम ओं कुं कुजाय नम ओं बुं बुधाय नम ओं गुं गुरव नम ओं शुं शुक्राय नम ओं शं शनाश्वराय नम ओं राम राहव नम ओं कें केतव नम ओं Okay, so we have the x and the y, telling us the combination that we can understand our nine or, for more important, pragmatic approach, our five karmic periods. The Vinshotari Dasha system is taking us to maximum one hundred and twenty years of incarnation. It's calculated related to the position of your. Natal moon in your chart. So if your moon is in a specific degree, there is going to be that, that those things that is called lunar mansions. I'm going to show a little bit of those calculations. But what I need you to understand is there is a what is that name in the casino that uh, you put the ball and it fits in just one socket. You know, what is the roulette? Name? Roulette. Okay. It's French. <laughs> the roulette is, it has a rule there. It's one black or white, two black or white, and so, right? It's, it's a stable parameter. And we are going to see a karmic roulette. Doesn't matter if you start on Ketu or in Shukra or, or Keto Venus or Surya. When you start that point, the needle will go forward. And the needle will start according to the position of your moon in your natal chart. This is not actually to understand right now. It's just to, okay, I will accept. And then I will study. And then I will understand. This is now information, not knowledge yet. Okay? So each karmic period has its own agenda, the first, the second, and so on. Are there many other system of karmic period? People that study Jyotisha know that there is 108 year period. There is several other periods. But this Vimshotari, the Shah system, is saying to you like this. Your, your glasses are going to, let me see if my other glasses here. No, it's not. Because time changed, the glasses that I'm here that are yellow, when time changes, a green one will come by its own power. And what I'm looking at as a reality here is not a nominal expression of absolute, it's a phenomenal expression of subjectivity. And this subjectivity will have its own rhythms. It will have its own rules and this will be applicable to everyone that is living as a human being in this planet right now your cats no, will not necessarily have this uh, government of your country will not necessarily will have the same cycle but in vedic culture everything pulsates and pulsates means it starts it ends and restarts okay so for the brief of the argument, let's put like this. There is a karmic roulette and the needle will start in this wheel according to the position of your natal moon in your Vedic chart. This karmic roulette will look like this. There are going to be nine colors. And the first color is going to be named Ketu, the second color is going to be named Venus and so on. The spaces of these um, slots are going to be different. One is going to be seven, another going to be 20 and so on. So it's going to be like this. Ashwini Barani Kritika Horohini Mrigashira Ara Ponava Supusha Slesha will do one round. And then the round will restart at Magapurava Balguni and so on up to Jesta. And then the round will start in Mula 
it will end in rivet. For example, let's suppose that the person is born with the, uh, the one that I took was, uh, it was Maga in the examples. So if the person starts his karmic period in Maga, the first one is going to be Ketu. If the person starts his life, if he's Jamna Nakshatra, if his uh, or her natal moon is Uttarashada, the first karmic period is going to be sun and so on. You can take any of those, you will see the table. Oh, my Jamna Nakshatra, my lunar sign in Vedic astrology is Agra. You know that you're going to start in Rahu Mahadasha. Let me see your faces, if it's everyone <laughs> crazy or not. <laughs> Okay, there is a second step to this argument, but the first one is my karmic pattern is started on Venus and then it went to um, Sun and then it went to Moon. Now it's on Mars and it will go soon in September to Rahu. <laughs> Ungura